My name is Fidele Baez. I am a visual artist. I'm primarily a dress person and painter. I am Dominican and Haitian. Most of my work deals with the body in context with history and nature. And because it's so physical, I want the surface that I'm working on to reflect that. And so paper itself is something that reacts to the environment. It's very flexible. It absorbs a humidity or dryness. It'll expand and contract like our bodies often do. The premise of the show is to bring out subaltern histories, things that are not taught in our textbooks that exist but haven't been always named. And this is about tracing the bloodlines of moments of resistance in the New World and tying narratives from like the Caribbean, North America, South America, all into one space. I'm Jessica Beck, the Associate Curator of Art here at the Andy Warhol Museum. Fierle Baez's work is extremely beautiful. Um, and it's sumptuous and it's layered and it's really warm. She creates a really warm and welcoming environment with her work. But once you look deeper into a lot of her images and the paintings and the drawings, you get to see beautiful patterns of flowers and organic patterns mixed in with darker, heavier symbols of power and oppression. So this mural is a permutation of what we had in Bloodlines in Miami. And this one, because the space is so expansive, this is more about architecture, about, histori about memory, recreating a memory around a history that's not been present. And in a way, I'm trying to make some of the patterns that you'll see throughout the walls, they're like a recontextualized heraldic shield that ties together things like the Plague Power Fist with an Asabache or the Black Panther, which were American moments of black resistance and self-definition with moments in the Caribbean as well. A lot of my work deals with color, both formally and conceptually. For two years, I did a self-portrait with only two parameters, color matching my forearm and the silhouette of my hair. So every day, I'd get into the studio and do this quick portrait. The two things that are dictating the project, the portraits, are two tests, two racial tests from the American South and from the Caribbean. So one of them is the brown paperback test, which was people primarily within the black community would color match to a brown paper bag. If you were that color or lighter, you could pass within white society. For me, it's mostly, it was a quick way of getting into the studio that after a while it just got too violent because you're putting yourself in this too arbitrary social context that when you see yourself within that every day is just too much of a toll. And that's just me subjecting myself to it. Imagine if it's a force that's coming outside of you. You can't, it's, it's alive today. So speak it, name it, break it. When visitors come to the Warhol Museum to see this exhibition, I want them to take away the ability to look deeper. Because we live in a society now where things feel very quick and it feels very surface and we digest and we consume images so quickly that sometimes we forget to think critically. So there's a certain amount of criticality missing from our daily lives. And I think that Fearlay's work brings that out so importantly and it can't be any more timely. It's work that helps me figure out who I am in the world and that hopefully speaks to people who have had similar experiences. So for me, I'm coming in with my narrative, what it is, but I really would like people to bring in their own stories and make it along with me.